here at McCormick Place in downtown Chicago. Welcome to the Mind of Matter YouTube channel. Let's go inside and check out some cars. New for this year at the Chicago Auto Show is the EV Learning Center. They've had a small EV track, I think it was last year. It was all right, but this year they've really gone and added a whole bunch more EV content, which I think is great. There's a whole bunch of charge point manufacturers here, some charge point service companies, uh, a lot of information on how to add charging to your house if you're new to EV ownership, basics about EVs in general, how they work, what it's like to start your day on a full charge every morning because you can charge at your house if you can, and a much more elaborate test track than there was last year. I see a Cadillac Lyric. I gotta go check out this Lyric. Oh, a whole bunch of Lyrics. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm excited. Hopefully they'll let me do a camping demo by folding down the rear seat and see if I can sit in the back and sleep in the folded trunk area. Well, as you can see, I got distracted by three Cadillac Lyrics, the most I've ever seen in one place. If you want to see more about that, check out the Cadillac Lyric video in this playlist, also at the Chicago Auto Show later today. Nice to see Autel here. I know of these guys from the Out of Spec series of channels, Kyle Connor and company. And I'm excited that there's a lot more electric vehicle presence here. Okay, it's not CES or anything, but I am kind of amazed and a little surprised about how much presence there is here, which is great. So glad to see that, hopefully even more next year. Also in the test track area here, the EV test track, you can sample the BMW iX, the BMW i7, that's the electric 7 series, VW ID4, the Chevy Bolt, and even some of the Hyundais and Kias were here as well. So if you're at the auto show, be sure to check out the EV section. If you've never ridden in an EV before, you'll be amazed how quiet and smooth everything is. And if you really want a thrill ride, go to the Ford stand, ride in the EV Lightning. I'm telling you, you will not expect the acceleration hit that that thing gives you. ComEd, the local Illinois electric utility, even brought their Unicorn Lightning Pro. I wonder if it's the long range or not. I bet it's just the uh, standard range, but maybe I can look inside and see. I bet it's locked. It's locked. If it's the extended range, I'm going to go ahead and reserve this for five years when they retire it. It'd be amazing to have an extended range pro. If you don't know already, the extended range pro is only available to fleet customers. So as hard as it is to find a lightning standard range, especially one at MSRP, it's even harder to find one at, uh, it's even harder to find one that's an extended range version. What do I see? Not only a Hummer EV, but a black one. Extremely rare. They're pretty much only built in white. There's been a few exceptions, but they're basically all white right now. This one looks so good in black. Oh my God, I want one of these so bad. Amazing car. Tons of YouTube videos about them from excellent channels. Read up on them. In person. Fantastic. Love this thing. I'd be happy with a white one, don't get me wrong, but I would want to add something to it. Maybe some camo <laughs> wrap or something silly or some stickers because they're all white right now. But this one in black, epic. Volkswagen brought a literal line of Tennessee built ID4s. I believe you can tell the Tennessee built ones by the red Volkswagen logo in the back. You may wonder why does it matter if it's built in Tennessee versus Germany like the early ones were? Well, if you want that EV tax credit from the federal government, you're going to want one from Chattanooga. These cars are cool. They're supposedly really good. First EVs, very usable, very user friendly, but to me, the most fun part about this stage is this. Jim and I were doing it earlier. You're driving a remote control car remotely from a long distance away. The track is 
200 yards from us and we had a lot of fun driving this thing. And Lexus went with the yoke steering wheel on their version of the Subaru Solterra. So that was unexpected. Well, that about wraps it up for my EV video from the 2023 Chicago Auto Show. Thanks for watching Mind of Matter YouTube channel. Subscribe for more and check out the playlist for all the show's highlights.